instauré à la suite de l'insurrection victorieuse du peuple des 30 et 31 octobre 2014. The transitional regime which was introduced following the people's victorious uprising of 30 and 31 October 1214 gradually failed to achieve the objectives of building a consensual democracy. The electoral law tailored for special individuals and decreed by roundtable talks with lawmakers has become a negative tool against the values of our people which are based on the spirit of justice, equity and tolerance. This law has created a serious division and frustration among the people, creating two categories of citizens. Despite the strong recommendations of ECOWAS heads of state, Despite the strong condemnation of the ECOWAS Court of Justice requiring Burkina Faso to remove all obstacles to the free participation of candidates to the upcoming elections, the Constitutional Council will be instrumental in violating these international decisions. Democracy is the right for every citizen to be an electorate and to be eligible. The law on the general status of the National Armed Forces and the one on the information code were enacted for personal purposes and to muzzle the press. This transition is also illustrated by arbitrary arrests which are against the law creating a way for selective justice in favor of the winners. In a sub-regional security context characterized by terrorism and organized crime, the issue of the army was politicized and manipulated. The proposals of the army on the adequate treatment or attention on pending issues became the object of our solemn engagement at the highest level, which were not respected. The main aim was to create permanent artificial crisis between the defense and security forces. The behaviors of a number of actors of this transition have been seen to be contrary to the rules of good public affairs management. People of Burkina Faso, patriots and democrats, friends of Burkina Faso, the main objective of the intervention of the CND is to initiate a consistent, fair and equal process leading to the establishment of a robust institutional system. Rooted on the cardinal principles of democracy such as political equality before the law, freedom of expression and political changes, this institutional system will be the bedrock of shared socio-economic development for Burkina Faso. For us to take care of this situation, the following measures have been taken. 1. The president of the transition is dismissed. 2. The transitional government has been dissolved. 3. The National Transitional Council is dissolved. 4. A broad consultation pledged to form a government that will be devoted to the restoration of the country's political order and the restoration of the national cohesion to achieve inclusive and peaceful elections. The CND will equally like to reassure the regional and international community and development partners of its commitment to respect the agreements in which Burkina Faso is committed. The people of Burkina, the National Council for Democracy calls on all Burkina Bees to actively and massively support, in a spirit of solidarity and tolerance, the political reconstruction process initiated in calm, discipline and hard work. Engagé dans le calme, la discipline et le, et le travail.